Is AI gonna replace our jobs? It's a pretty common question these days. So I got into this chat GPT thing to see how good it is, thinking it shouldn't be that good, right? Two seconds later. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Then I wonder if my job as a Blender YouTuber is gonna be over in a year or two. It's actually pretty scary. I wanted to see if it's good at being a Blender teacher, so I went ahead and asked it if it can teach me how to make a donut like Blender Guru, and the results were interesting. First I said teach me how to make a donut in Blender like that bearded Blender guy from the internet. He doesn't even have that much beard, I don't know why I said that. And it said sure, but it didn't have any clue who I was talking about. So I explained he has the biggest Blender YouTube channel and a cute Australian accent. But for some unknown reason it thought I was talking about a murderer named David Cole. I have no idea who that is, so at that moment I thought we are safe boys. ARs are still pretty dumb. Then I realized this database is limited to 2021 and I believe he didn't have any beard back when I was watching his tutorial, so I corrected myself, and right away he knew what I was talking about. I said write me a video script for making a donut. It did, but it was still simple and quick. We had a nice chat about the ways we can make this donut, and it came up with an actual script for the video, but it was still too formal and boring. So I said throw a couple of funny jokes in there, and maybe I start with a poem about why people should subscribe. So it came up with a full, funny, lighthearted script for the video, and a poem at the beginning. We're gonna follow along and do what it says step by step, to see what we end up with at the end. From now on, everything that comes out of my mouth will be fully generated by AI. None of these are mine. Let's go. Donuts are round and also sweet. Watching this tutorial will make your day complete. Creating one in Blender is a real treat. So hit that like button and don't be discreet. Subscribe to my channel for more to come. Treaty treats that will make you come. I read that part wrong. Treaty treats that will make your stomach hum. So join in the fun and give it a try. You'll be making donuts before you even sigh. Welcome to our tutorial on creating the most delicious, mouth-watering, and realistic donut with chocolate topping in Blender. If you're not drooling yet, just wait till you see the final product. First, let's start by creating the base of our donut. We'll be using a torus shape to create the base. Select the torus shape and go into edit mode. Using the scale and grab tool, adjust the shape of the torus to resemble a donut. To create a more realistic shape, we can use the sculpting tools to add bumps and irregularities to the surface of the donut, like the ones you see on your belly after eating too much donuts. Now, let's move on to creating the chocolate topping, the crown jewel of our donut. To do this, we'll be using a technique called subdivision modeling. It's like taking a plain Jane and turning her into a supermodel. First, we'll start by creating a simple cylinder, like a straw, but not as boring. Then we'll go into edit mode and start shaping the cylinder to resemble a chocolate drizzle. We'll use the sculpting tools to add details, like wrinkles, and variation to the shape of the cylinder. It's like giving your donut a haircut, but with chocolate. Once we're happy with the shape of the chocolate drizzle, we'll use the sculpting tools to add some imperfection and variation to the shape of the cylinder, like adding wrinkles to a donut, just like adding wrinkles to a forehead. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? To add some more realism and sweetness, we'll use the particle system to add sprinkles on the top of the chocolate drizzle. To do this, we'll create a new particle system and set the particle type to hair. We'll adjust the settings to create the desired number and size of the sprinkles. It's like adding a little bit of fairy dust on the top of your donut, or just like adding a little bit of sugar on the top of your cereal. Now we want to give our donut a glossy look. To do this, we will apply a glossy material to the donut. To create the glossy material, we'll go to material settings and create a new material. Under the surface settings, we'll choose a glossy shader. We'll adjust the roughness to 0.3 so it looks glossy but not like a disco ball. Next, we'll add a color to the material to give it a nice golden color. But donuts are not perfect, they have uneven color due to the way they were cooked. To achieve this effect, we can use color ramps. So under the material settings, we'll add a color ramp node and connect it to the base color.
Then we can adjust the position of the color points in the ramp to create an uneven color effect. Just like how no two donuts are the same, just like no two snowflakes are the same, and just like no two dad jokes are the same. Next, we'll add a glossy brown material to the cylinder to make it look like chocolate. Because let's face it, a plain gray cylinder does not look appetizing. And finally, we'll place it on the top of the donut, like a cherry on top of an ice cream sundae, but better. Finally, we'll use the lighting and camera tools to set up a scene and render our donut. To light the scene, we'll use a combination of an HDRI map and a spotlight. We'll adjust the settings of the HDRI map and the spotlight to create the desired lighting. We'll place the camera in the right position to get the best view of the donut. And then we'll adjust the settings of the camera to get the desired depth of field. Now we are ready to render the scene and choose the desired resolution and the format of the image. Just like how you choose the right filter on Instagram and just like how you choose the right filter on TikTok. And there you have it. Our delicious donut with chocolate topping is now ready to be devoured by the eyes. <laughs> With a little bit of practice and a lot of appetite, you'll be able to create your own stunning 3D models and animations. So go ahead, give it a try, and don't forget to share your creation with us. <sighs> well, that was kind of rough. As you saw, I forgot to explain a lot of things, like the drizzle on the donut was confusing as heck. Donut material was way off. It was literally just gold. Still pretty impressive, I guess. Another problem was this old database. It clearly doesn't know anything about the geometry nodes and any other new Blender features that came out after 2021. And also, we had way less source of information back in 2020, so its sources are more limited than a normal person searching on Google. But overall, I can imagine these things going hard few years in the future. Maybe they even come to your PC and help you with your Blender stuff. Who knows at this point? Tell me in the comments what you think will happen. And yeah, I hope you liked the video. And if you want to support the channel and download the 3D files and real-time videos of making the characters, check out my Gumroad and Patreon page. Link in the description. See you on the next one. Peace.